It's Christopher here from Cars Unlocked. If you're having problems connecting to Android Auto wirelessly, we're gonna run through some ways you can get back up and running in today's video. Let's get to it. So we get a lot of questions on our channel because we did how to get connected if your Android Auto isn't working. And a lot of people tell us they have trouble connecting to Android Auto Wireless. So I thought I'd do a video dedicated to that. But a lot of you wanna do it without your cord. And that's what we're kinda gonna go over here for you guys. First thing I wanna remind you is not all cars are compatible with Android Auto Wireless. Now, it's a fair assumption that if your car is older than 2021, it most likely is not going to be compatible with Android Auto Wireless. There's a few BMWs 2020 years and 2019s that are compatible, but make sure your car is compatible. That is the first step. If not, you're going to have to use your cord to get connected. And like I said, if you're having trouble, the link is in the description below to jump to that video. You also want to check if your phone is compatible. Now, you need Android Auto 11 or newer for it to be compatible with Android Auto Wireless. If you have a Google Pixel or Samsung Galaxy, I believe it was in Android 10, but you've most likely already updated your software. So you need a phone that has Android 11 or newer that's compatible. You also need an active data connection and you also need a Wi-Fi connection. So if you don't have those capabilities on your phone, then that is your main problem that's kind of the basics out of the way if you've checked your compatibility and everything should be working let's jump into how you can fix this issue here and i run into this issue all the time working at a car dealership with customers cars with my own phones driving different cars so i know a lot of quick ways to get you back up and running the first thing i would do is restart my phone a lot of minor issues and glitches can be solved just by a quick restart on your cell phone. So I'm not gonna give you a demo on how to do that. I'm assuming everybody knows how to restart their phone, but restarting your phone is the first fix. If that's still not working, it's best to determine if the problem was with the car or with the phone. So typically how I troubleshoot that is I'll grab my wife's phone or I'll grab my a friend's phone and try to connect their phone to the Android Auto and get it up and running wirelessly. And if I can't get it up and running on two different phones, then I know that the problem is with the car and not the phone itself. If one phone works and one phone doesn't, then I know the problem is with that phone. So determine where your problem is, if it's with the phone or with the car, and then let's move on to the next steps. So now if we've determined the problem is with the phone, here's some ways you can get it all fixed. So the first thing I would do if the problem is with your phone is, like I said, I would restart the phone, make sure my software is up to date. So you can go in your Android settings and update your software and obviously restart your phone. We went over that before. If that's still not working, I would recommend you try uninstalling and reinstalling the Android Auto app. So pretty much what you're gonna do is go to the Google Play Store, search Android Auto, find the app, uninstall it, and then reinstall it and try again. If that is still not working, you may need to re-sync your phone to the car. So you're gonna go into your Bluetooth settings on the car here. You're gonna delete the device from your car and then reconnect to Bluetooth. That's gonna help maybe reset a few of the minor glitches. The other thing you wanna do, if you're still not up and running after that, you wanna clear your cache and storage on the Android Auto app. We're gonna to go to our phone settings, we're gonna search apps, and then we're gonna find Android Auto. And on this Android Auto screen, you can see a couple things. You can see, first of all, if Android Auto is enabled or disabled. You wanna make sure that it's not disabled. You wanna make sure it's enabled. Then we want to hit storage and cache. And we wanna clear our cache and we wanna clear our storage. So that's just gonna reset everything, clear a little bit of cookies and make sure everything is fresh. If that is still not working, we want to go to our permissions and make sure all of our permissions are allowed. So call logs, contacts, microphone, location, notification, SMS, it needs to have all the permissions allowed to accurately work. 
Now, if that's still not working after you've done all that, grab your cord and plug in your phone to the car and get it working through the foam wired connection. And once you do that, typically the wireless connection is gonna work once you unplug your phone and start up again. Now, if you've tried all that and the issue is with the car, your phone is still not working, there's a couple things you can do inside your car to get it working. Before you take your car to a mechanic, if it's still not working, there's still a few things that you can do to get your Android Auto up and running. So. Again, this is gonna vary from car to car, but the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your permissions are enabled. So a lot of cars will ask you automatically if you want to access Android Auto every time you start it. So you can see here when I click this Android Auto, it asks, is it active or inactive? So I wanna make sure it's active so it can connect to Android Auto. Now the other thing you want to check is if your car is automatically set to start up Android Auto. This is done by your car settings. In your phone Android Auto settings, you can see my phone is set so that it defaults to automatically start up when I connect my phone. Some of the settings of the cars don't have that set up so it automatically connects. You have to go into your settings and turn that on. So I go into my Android Auto settings and I hit always when it says start Android up automatically. That means every time I connect to my car, it's gonna automatically start up. If that doesn't work in your Android Auto settings, you can also go previously connected devices and you can forget all your previous devices. That's what you wanna do. Make sure you only have this sole car you're trying to sync to set up in your Android Auto settings. If it's still not working, what I would recommend, this is more of a last resort. You wanna reset your car to factory settings. Make sure all your software is up to date. You wanna make sure your car screen has the latest software. So right now we're in a Nissan vehicle, but if I go into the settings on this Nissan vehicle and I go to my general settings, I can go system. And then here I can make sure the system updates and my software is up to date. If you're still having issues, you can do a full reset on the car. So you can do a factory data reset on your car. It's gonna be a little different. It's gonna vary on car, but this will reset the whole car to the factory settings and that should get everything back up and running for you because it basically restores the car to how it was at the factory. But out of all those things I've mentioned, you should be up and running by now. So comment below if we helped you, what your problem was and how it was fixed, or if there's any other solutions that I didn't mention, don't hesitate to put them in the comments. Again, I'm Christopher from Cars Unlocked. Thanks for watching.